video i'm going to be showing you three ways that you can ds your vocal in ff studio so the first one we're going to be using is stock plugin and then the second two we are going to be using free plugins so before we start i'm going to play the vocal so that you can understand what we are working with some things never change some things don't go away i wish i believed you i wish i could have seen you so the s in this vocal is very prominent especially around here i wish i could have seen you so fl studio does not have a dsr plugin a dedicated dsr plugin so to ds your vocals you need to use a plugin called maximus so in order to use this plugin all you have to do is click on the preset right click on the preset and then select dsr narrow band so after that all you have to do is click on the monitor and then play the vocal i wish i could have seen you something so you have to find the place where the s is very prominent so we are going to play the vocal now i wish i could have seen you some things never change so in this case it's around 10k 9 to 10k so all you have to do is move this band here you know stretch it to wherever the s and the show sounds is very prominent So make sure you get the point where the S is very prominent and don't go beyond that so that you will not destroy the quality of your vocal. I wish I could have seen you. So it's somewhere around 10k. So after that, you have to switch this to mid. Now we are going to be looking at this section here. So we are going to be compressing the shush and the S sounds in the vocal. So if you look closely here, anytime the S is very prominent, you see a very big stretch here. I wish I could have seen you. Some things never change. Some things don't go away. I wish I believed you. I wish I could have seen you. So all you have to do now is move the point to so start getting compression on the S and the shush sounds. So you can also create other points here. You can just move this down, you know, to suppress the S and the shush sounds. I wish I could have seen you. Some things never change. Some things don't go away. I wish I believed you. I wish I could have seen you. Another way you can also DS your vocals in the FL Studio is by using a free plugin called TDR Nova. So all you have to do is also right click on the preset and then select DS Split Band. Now, unlike the other plugin, this one is a little bit simpler. So all you have to do is click on in, you know, so that you have a visual on what you're working with. So just click on play. Some things never change. Some things don't go away. So all you have to do is listen to the vocal and then move this band to a place where the S and the shoe sounds are very prominent. So I'm going to be doing that now. Some things never change. Some things don't go away. I wish I believed you. I wish I could have seen. So as you can see, it's around here. So all you have to do now is move the threshold. You know to any point you want so you can have it all the way down here and you can have it you know you know you can just have a little bit of you know reduction there and you can also move the gain you know you can move it down or up so this one is very simple so you can use it to reduce the s and the shoe sounds in the vocal so i recommend having something as low as possible because in music production less is more instead of moving it manually with this you can just use the frequency here and then move it around and you can also use this knob here to make it steep so you can make something very steep like this i wish i believed you i wish i could have seen you so this is the last but not the least method that we're going to be talking about in this video so we're going to be using a plugin called tdsr by Teka version from Teka version so it has a very big knob here and then you have the intensity you have the sharpness and you know you can switch to high the low high the mid high and so on and so forth
So I hope you got value from this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.